I'm mad. Let's talk. I don't know why, but a lot of people recently have asked me what I've been doing ever since I graduated high school because, you know, those nosy f that want to throw it in your face that their kid went to Harvard and they're doing great and they're going to be a doctor. And everyone that's asked me when I tell them that I didn't go to college and I'm working like full time now doing freelance work, they kind of look at me like I just robbed a bank and then I don't know how to react and then they're like, oh, good, good. Well, Charlie went to Harvard and, um, She's gonna be a doctor. Oh, f you, Gretchen. I hate you. Okay, well, first off, if you don't know, I didn't go to college after high school, obviously. I just started working. I traveled a little bit, and then I just kept working. And I'm still doing it now, and I'm doing fine, Gretchen. I'm still f talking to you. I know I'm probably the last person qualified to talk about college, if you should go, if you shouldn't go, but you know, I have some opinions on them, and I'd like to share them with the internet, because what else is an 18-year-old supposed to do, right? Okay, first thing. If your career does not require a college education and you're doing stuff to work toward that, then bitch don't go and waste hundreds of thousands of dollars on a degree that doesn't even give you a definite chance that you're going to get a job in the field that you want. But if the job that you want to do for the rest of your life doesn't require a college education, then you hustle your damn ass off and get as close to the fire as humanly possible and you will get there, I promise. If you put in the work, you'll get there. Go get experience, work for free, do favors, meet new people, go to conferences, meet the people that you want to be, hang out with them, talk to them, pick their brain as much as you can and things will come out of it. Oh, oh God. What it really comes down to is who you know and what you know and how good you are at the skill. If you keep practicing at it, you're gonna get better. It doesn't matter what degree you have in the end because they're gonna pick the person who does the job better, not what's written down on paper. That makes sense, kind of, I think. I don't know. Now the point of this video is not me telling you to not go to college because you don't want to. That's not what's going down here. I'm saying that if you're in a good position when you're 17 to do what you want to do and you think you can do it, prove it to yourself and the people around you that you can do it. Take a risk, take a gap year, that's what I did, which is slowly turning into two years and probably three. <laughs> there are so many things that I would have missed out on if I went to college career-wise, Experience-wise, I, I don't know. I had a good time doing them and it helped me in the long run. That's all that matters, right? I got to work at a camp last August, which was so fun. I met so many great people. Everyone there was so nice and I got to take pictures and videos of everyone at the camp and it was so fun. And during that time in August, I was about to enroll in a class for filmmaking and all of that. But when I went to like the orientation, they're like, you can't take a week off, then you just won't pass the class. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm obviously gonna do this camp, so. I'm not gonna take this class. <laughs> Which some people would call stupid, but I had a great time and I met so many people that I still talk to today and it was a great experience and I had an amazing time and that's all that matters, right? I've gotten to work with so many artists that I look up to, that I listen to. Just over the last two weeks, I got to work with 30 Seconds to Mars, Walk the Moon, Joy Wave, Lainey, The Neighborhood, Mr. Wives. I got to work with all of them over the last two weeks just because of what my portfolio looks like. All the people that I've shot with and worked with they see that and they want me to work with them and when I get to the venue they're not <laughs> asking for my degree at the door, that's not how it works. At least in the field that I'm in. I've said that a hundred times. I've gotten to travel to so many places that I never thought I would go to and the people that I met there, it's like what are the chances of me meeting you and becoming best friends with you? It's so weird how life works like that. Not, this is not me flexing at all. I'm still sad. <laughs> If you follow me on any of my social medias, you know all the shoots that I've been on. Music videos, corporate shoots, um, commercials. Um, it's so fun. I f love every second of it. It is so fun and I wouldn't change it for the world. Getting to film concerts every weekend and getting paid for it. It's insane, dude. Whenever people ask me what college I went to, I say I went to YouTube University because that's where I'm learning everything. I learn everything on the internet and I'm so so f happy as to where I am right now with who I'm working with, what I'm doing every day. I love it, dude. The point of this video is if you are passionate about something and you are doing it every single day, working at it, learning about it, whether it's on YouTube or with people in the industry working on the job, getting experience, doing all of that, you will be fine. 
I promise. But if you're not putting in the work, you're not getting the experience. Maybe college is a good route for you in the meantime. Not saying you don't not saying you have to do the full years. Go take classes and have that written on your resume. That's perfect. That's good enough. You don't need the four year whole thing if you want to pursue art. Probably the most depressing kid you'll ever hang out with. And look at me being a motivational speaker on YouTube. Welcome to my TED Talk. I'm done here. I know, I'm only 18 years old and still got a ton of time left to learn and things to do, but I feel like I'm at a good place and I'm feeling all right. So on that note, I wish you all the best of luck in everything that you do. I know a ton of you are photographers and a bunch of entrepreneurs and making art yourselves. I see it all the time on Twitter and Instagram. You guys are amazing. I don't know if any of this video made sense, but I will be back with another Spotify playlist video soon because I'm stuck. <laughs> and yeah, I'm probably not going to watch any of this video back because I'll probably just cringe at everything I said, but I'm still going to upload it because I felt passionate. And yeah, I'll be back with another normal stupid ass video, like an ASMR power tool edition or a Spotify playlist video soon. I got some great ass music lined up. All my social medias are in the description. Uh, go check them out. I've been posting a lot of concert photography I've been doing with The Neighborhood, 30 Seconds to Mars, and Lainey. Worked with all of them in the last week. They're so good, even though I got kicked out of one of the concerts. I only got to stay for about uh, 30 seconds. See you later, probably with a playlist video. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't really care if I'm gonna die. I'ma do it all, no labor.